Jared here. I'm with Adam. Uh, he's come from a long ways to uh, get treated by me. Um, he's had a lot of problems, a lot of fractures. We're going to catch up with all the stuff he has going on, but I want to watch. I want to let you guys watch how he walks into the room, so you can see his gait. Come on down, one. Okay, we'll go right back in the room right here. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so Adam, uh, you've come from, uh, how long did you drive down here? No, it, with traffic, two hours. Two hours, okay. And so, uh, you've been to a chiropractor before? Yes, you have, right? Never. Oh, never, I thought never. you did. Never, never. have, that's right. Uh, he was in a work comp accident about uh, um, 2013, right? Right. And so, Tell, I mean, he might as well tell you this is a pretty good story. Uh, what happened? He was working. What happened? I was working, climbing up the building. Um, I fell from the parapet of the ladder. Two and a half stories. Two and a half way. stories. Um, tell us about what happened when you hit the ground. Um, it, well, I was by myself that night. I fell. Uh, I, was, I laid on the floor. I couldn't move. I broke my knee, my arm. I hit my face on the concrete. Uh, I don't remember if I went unconscious. I just remember being wet because sprinklers wet me. I woke up around 2.30 in the morning. I managed to get the cell phone out of my pocket. It was broken and I called 911. They showed up, picked me up, and took me to the hospital. Wow, was this a job you were on? You were on a job, right? Yeah. What the hell are you working so late for? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> when the places were open. Yeah, gotcha. So he hurt himself pretty good. And so this was a work comp accident years ago and uh, work comp stitched you back up, right? Yeah. You fixed your arm, fixed your wrist, and fixed it meaning just put it back together, sewed it back together, um, saw some pins in his left elbow, he has a lot of restrictions, and so over the years, he was um, with work comp, and he still has lots of complaints, right? Lots of complaints. Even though on the outside, the bones are healed, mm -hmm. the muscles are closed up, he can have, he has use of his body, things still hurt, right? Yeah. And so he was screaming at work comp to get this better, like, help me, help me, help me. We can't, we can't find anything wrong. Tell, yeah. us, tell, us, tell us just a quick little rundown of the aggravation you went through to try to get work comp to finish helping you. So I've gone, um, but now it's just everything's changed. I would go and I would, you know, they would, the doctor would submit for an MRI, for x-rays, and they just deny everything, deny it, deny it, deny it. And what was the reason for denial? I'm kind of curious. Uh, they would just say, for instance, they ruled out that the shoulder was part of the accident. Uh -huh. So they treated the wrist, they treated the radial head, which I broke here, but they ruled, they have three months or so to rule things out. And after three months, when I was complaining, they said it, it wasn't related to me. Okay, so hold on. Accident. So you fall on the ground, you break your arm, you break your wrist, you hit your face. Broke my nose. But, but, and you broke your nose. But between this nose and this elbow, there's no way that this could have been involved in the accident. Right. That makes sense. Right. Yeah. So anyways, you people out there, when you're in work comp accidents, it doesn't make sense. Remember, insurance is in the game of not paying, so they'll find any way to not pay. Mm -hmm. But that makes me laugh. This broke, this broke, this broke, but nothing in here could have been possible. It can't be possible. Right. So anyways, he's been in a lot of pain, so you screamed and hollered to try to get some care. So tell us just a little bit more about how that worked. Uh, you just... They denied it, they denied, denied it, right? it yeah. And then, so what happened? Since they were denying it so much, what'd you end up doing? I got my own MRI, uh, and then I found that I had, they said I have a carpal tunnel in this hand, and I had two uh, bulging disc or yeah. herniated disc. And he got it on his own. Yeah. <laughs> Work cop wouldn't even pay for it. Yeah. And so he has two bulging discs, he has a carpal tunnel, and uh, so long story short, 2013 when you had the work comp, when did you close your case? Um, about two months ago. Okay, why? And just tell people why, because they're interested in why somebody would go, I'm so done with work comp, I'm closing it. Why would you close it? Because it's frustrating, I just, I figured I'm just gonna seek my own treatment and see if I can get better. Yeah, because they weren't helping anymore. All they do is give you pills. Yeah, and they just keep moving forward uh, and they just kind of wear you out, right? Didn't mm -hmm. you say they wear you out? Yeah. yeah. So anyways, I wanted to get that on camera because a lot of people out there are suffering with work comp injuries and they're like, why am I not getting, why, why am I getting better? Why am I not getting better? Well, they're not getting better because work comp doesn't really care past a certain point. Right. Is that kind of what you think? Okay, so anyways, he, saw, he seeked me out after he closed the case. Um, so uh, what are your symptoms right now? Right now, I've just... What are you here for? What, do you, what is your pain here that brought you here? The shoulder pain, more than anything. Gotcha. Um, especially, I know the cold weather's coming up. Last year, around this time, I was in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. So I want to prepare for this winter. <laughs> but I want to see if I can get Operating. better. Gotcha. That's funny. But um, mainly, it, it's always been the shoulder pain trickling down to my wrist and my back and the neck. Gotcha. And, and as time goes by, I feel like my neck is like, it's not even, or my head's not even on my neck. I feel like everything's kind of tweaking more and more. Time. More and more and more as time yeah. goes by, right? And so no way those herniated discs could be possible part of the accident when he broke his face on the ground. 
Yeah. That's funny. Okay, so uh, so the shoulder. What else do you have pain? You have pain in your neck. Where's your pain in your neck? Uh, above uh, here, like in the upper upper, upper neck, right there. Yeah, gotcha. More on the left side. Gotcha. You have shoulder blade pain. Left yeah. side, left side over here. Mm -hmm. We have. Um, tell us about your hands and wrists. Uh, and fingers. I can't really go. I always have the numbness and the tingling, and especially in these three fingers here. Gotcha. Uh, I can't seem to bring it all the way up. I have to go this way. Gotcha. Um, I hardly don't use it uh, because I use this. I'm always dropping things. Um, Why are you dropping things? Because you only use one hand. Yeah. Or gotcha. sometimes I'll try and use this one, but my m mind's telling me it works, but I don't have the strength. Gotcha. Gotcha. And so uh, knee pain also, right? Yeah. Because he had surgery on his knee. It's all filleted open there. Um, quads. Tell us about your your quads, your muscles. They're always, always tight. sore. Always, always sore. sore. And behind my kneecaps is always, always really sore. tight. And I told him that's a postural thing. So the muscles have to compensate. Compensation causes them to be sore. And so he doesn't really realize yet. With that's all stuff's going to change as we move forward. But um, he has a lot of weird symptoms. And the biggest thing is that he has tons of surgeries. And those surgeries cause scar tissue. That scar tissue is going to keep us from getting him really well. But we're going to do a lot. He's going to be a lot better than he ever thought he could be. But it's still going to hamper us. And I've talked about that a little bit. Right. Now, some interesting thing he came up with this morning before we move on, uh, loss of smell since what? Since the accident, right? Since the accident, yeah. A complete loss of smell or just a, what do you, what? Well, there's a lot of things I don't smell. Um, when I did have a test done for, for the for the nose, um, he did a test and he squeezed a bunch of things and I didn't smell any of them. None of it, okay. So yeah. so a lot, of, a lot of loss of smell. Now, what about the milk allergies too? I've noticed uh, when I eat cheese more than, and I like cheese, but uh, every time I eat cheese, I get an itchy throat. No phlegm, I'm just constantly having to clear, clear my throat. throat. Yeah. And that's something new since the accident. Yeah. And you link it to the accident because it started all after that, right? Yeah, because it, again, I broke my nose too. I had a nose surgery. Gotcha. Uh, sleep, how do you feel like you sleep? Um, lately it's gotten better, but it's it's all over the four, map. five, six hours at most. Uh, he showed me his MRI report this morning. He has a three millimeter disc, C5, C6, a two millimeter, disc, a two millimeter C6, C7. Absolutely no objective findings that should be surgically related, but he took them because he thought this all was related, and it is to a certain extent, but it's not nearly as bad um, as he thought it would be, which is good because we don't want to do surgery on his neck anyways. Anything else you want to add? Nothing. Gotcha. So um, he's never been to a chiropractor. What other treatments have you done? You've done uh, obviously orthopedic surgeons, neurologists. What other have you done acupuncture before? Never. No, no chiropractic, right? No. Now, why didn't work? Why didn't work comps in your chiropractor? Uh, they, the doctor asked for it and they denied it. That's crazy. Yeah. Physical therapy, how much physical therapy did you go to? I did a lot. I, I, it did help me in the beginning to get back to walking. Exactly. I was in a wheelchair for quite some time. Absolutely. Um, but and I, I love you guys for that. Physical therapy, that's what you guys are good for. Yeah. Get somebody at post-surgical, get them back on their feet, get them going. Awesome. That's what physical therapy is for. Yeah, Not the pool, that <clears> was great. It got me back to walking, mm -hmm. but there's only so much it, it does. After that's just working out, but... I, I try and do the exercises, but everything hurts. Exactly. So you only get so much. At least you got back walking. But so no physical, no uh, chiropractic, and no acupuncture by the work comp board. Not not one even visit. No. And you asked for it, and the doctor said to do it. Mm -hmm. So crazy. Any other thing else? Lots of medication you say. Any other doctors? Um, no, just so, ENTs, uh, ENTs, orthopedics. Yes. Um, physical therapists. Yes. So he's here, paying out of his own pocket. Why? Because he still needs some treatment. So. Let's see, let's see what's going on over here, please. Turn around this way. Okay, knee straight, bend or touch toes as best you can. Okay, any pain in your back there? Yeah. Okay, on right, scale of one to 10, what is that? It's probably a three. That's where you go and stand up. And is it pain or tension, you said? Uh, both, more discomfort. More discomfort, okay, yeah. go back, like this. That's higher, yeah. And what is that? That's about a five now. A five now, and that's in your low back, right? Yeah. Okay, put your hands down. Go and look at the ground, please. Pain in your neck there at all? Mm, tension here. Huh? Tension mm -hmm. on a scale of one to ten, what is that? Three. Three with the ceiling? How about that? Mm, three. Three? Yeah. Now, we did this earlier. I want to see his left shoulder, so take your arm and just go straight up. Just do what you can. Take that. Yeah, no, I got mm -hmm. you. Just see you guys how he's moving. This, he's not screwing around. This is as fast as he can go. Mm -hmm. And how much pain is that? That would say six. A six, yeah. right? And there's no pins, there's no surgery in here, right? Not here, but here. Exactly, is. but yeah. you're only stopping because of the pain. Yeah. So you guys don't think it's scar tissue. It's not it's not post-surgical stuff. He doesn't have any surgery in here. Mm -hmm. It just freaking hurts like a summer gun. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, also let's uh, squat real quick. Now he does have surgery on his knee, so this is definitely you understand why he has knee pain. But I wanted to show you what we can do here. It's already cracking. Got cracking. And how much knee pain you have right now? A four. A four? Yeah, five. A five? Yeah. Now, what about your back? Uh, two. A two. Go ahead yeah. and stand up. 
So difficult, right? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And uh, one last thing here, guys. We're gonna check his strength here. Just squeeze. So he's right-handed, so it's fine. Strength. This one, squeeze as hard as you can. This is like nothing, right? Pretty much yeah. weak. He's very weak over here. So we're gonna see how that all comes out, okay? Scared? Nervous. Nervous. Yeah. I'm gonna take care of you. You know, uh, we're gonna go slow. We're not gonna go fast. You see me in the videos, okay? Mm -hmm. Just take your time. We'll relax, okay? Come over here, please. On your back, please. Like face up. Let's go down on that. Good. Okay. And so, um, can you see me? Is this too bright? It's it's nice. Yeah, not for me. <laughs> from the camera, sorry. Yeah, the camera needs to talk to me first. Okay. Yeah. Um, turn this way a little bit more. Is that better with the light? Good. So, uh, x rays. Huge kyphosis in his neck. Ridiculous. Terrible posture. And if you rewind to the very beginning of this video, you'll see the way he walks in uh, on down the hall. Terrible posture. And so, check that out. Um, uh, balances off, other things, pretty straightforward, but the neck is really far off. This has probably got massive whiplash from the fall. Um, we're gonna help a lot today. The hernia discs mean nothing. Um, check out the x-rays and um, uh, that's good. Thanks for talking about the work comp. You know, the um, the most important thing there is that you're gonna help a lot of people because a lot of people suffer just like you. Mm -hmm. And to kind of give your share what you went through may help other people kind of figure out how to move faster through the system. Mm -hmm. They can relate to it. So just relax best you can. And you being heavy right now, this is perfect. You just be nice and heavy on the table. Okay, breathe in and out. Let me find, I'm not going to do a lot today, just a little bit right in the middle of the neck, okay? Okay, let okay, me have this real quick. Let me have it. Come on this way. Oh. Dead. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Tell us your initial impression of that one. <laughs> that felt really good. <laughs> <laughs> your first adjustment ever, oh. right? <laughs> and you liked it. Mm hmm. How, tell us why it felt good, people want to know. Oh, uh, it just. It just released a lot of tension. And released just in your neck, your body, anywhere else? I feel it in my lower back. In your low back too, yeah. right? And now it's kind of going down my legs. And it's going down your legs, right? Uh -huh. And you're not just making that up, right? No. So a neck adjustment is spreading to your back, to your legs already. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, one more, okay? Mm -hmm. That was great. One more, okay? okay? Just be having the table just exactly what you just did. The more you relax, the better the adjustment. There you go. Doing good, Adam. This one hurts my yeah. neck. Oh. oh. The setup hurt more? Yeah. How about the adjustment? Still hurt more, too? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling it here in the shoulder. In the shoulder? Yeah. Okay. Oh. And that's the side that we have the trouble with, right? Mm hmm. So you can see why there's a problem there. So just try to be relaxed, not just anymore, okay? That was it. Mm -hmm. All we did was the middle of your back, I mean middle of your neck. Uh, nice and easy adjustment. Good. That's it, relax, okay? Mm -hmm. So in a second, Adam, I'm gonna have you come up. And when you come up, uh, the most important thing is not to twist and turn. Okay. The more you twist and turn, the more you're, the more you're gonna undo my work. Mm -hmm. You're gonna look straight ahead, keep your arms at your side, okay? Okay. okay. How do you feel right now? Good. What's good mean? Uh, relief. Relief? You do feel relief? Yeah. In the shoulder, the back? The neck. The neck. The neck, yeah. Gotcha. Good. Okay, on the other hand, sit up. You sit on the table, three legs on the side, just sit there, don't move after that. Okay. Good. The middle of my back feels light. Good. Okay. Any other first impressions? My eyes feel like they're clo like it's dark. 
<laughs> the eyes are closed. Oh, it is dark, dude. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. When it's dark, usually there's like red and it's black. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? I've never heard that before. I don't know. So you're saying that it feels like it's supposed to feel. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times you feel kind of like uh, a red feeling or something when mm -hmm. your eyes are closed. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I've never heard. That's an interesting thing, guys. So if anybody has a symptom out there, make a comment on your video because I'm curious. I've never heard that before. What else do you feel, sir? Um, less anxious. Less anxious. Yeah. Good. That's absolute. We see that all the time. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Dizzy doll. Uh, no. Okay. You excited to see how you feel? Yes. So you're going to walk. No twist or turn, okay? Mm -hmm. On to your side. Look straight ahead. Okay. You better open your eyes. It's still dark. Good. <laughs> Oh, wow. To, to the front yeah. door. Oh, wow, what? <laughs> I, I feel light. Yeah. Go ahead and walk, please. To the front door, please. Right And come right here. Mm -hmm. Take it in your nose, breathe in your nose. A little dizzy. A little dizzy. See, the dizzy is starting to set in. Okay, mm -hmm. another deep breath in the nose. Out. I'm going to walk out of the front door. Okay. All right. Walking helps recalibrate the spine, guys. Walking has helped spread my adjustment from the neck through the body. The body now has to recompensate because there's new balance being exerted through the, the neck where the neurology is, and the body is adapting to it now. So the walking helps that happen. Just going away. Just going away? One more lap, please. One more lap. One more big breath. He's gonna have to walk several more laps, but he's, he's calming down because the body is changing, adapting, so his brain stem is now feeling more normal. Can you stop right here? Okay, one no nose. Okay, tell the camera what else is feeling. What are you feeling right now? You feel lighter, you feel all your back sore? I feel straight, yeah. You feel straight too? Mm -hmm. Okay, what else do you feel? Uh, taller. <laughs> taller? You guys saw how he walked? Walked way different. The mm -hmm. walking was what? Easier, right? Easier, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so um, anything else you feel? Uh, like I walked even, I usually put a lot of weight on this leg because this, this one's weak, but I felt like I was able to walk even. Gotcha. Some cool little yeah, cool things going on, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so four and a half years. Four and a half. Yeah. And uh, what has this one five-minute adjustment done for you that... Four and a half years has not done any has done relief <laughs> different right yeah no drugs no drugs no surgery no surgery no ass kicking nope good so uh walk back this way okay we're gonna go through range of motions you tell me how you feel when you're doing this okay go ahead and over let's see okay that was a five or four i forget what that was a three. you can touch them you can touch them yeah when's the last time you touched your toes dude <laughs> five years five years and uh did i stretch you for five hours no did I bend your neck around your leg around your 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 head? No. no so no. no a no radical machines of physical therapy, no massage right on your legs. No. And you have more flexibility than you've had in five years. Yeah. Now how about the back pain? Um I still feel a little bit here. Okay. Like on the middle. scale one to ten, what is that? Um two. Two? Yeah. So it was a three, I think, before. So yeah. it's a tiny bit better, mm -hmm. but the flexibility is better. Yeah. Okay, go back this way now. That's a lot less. Yeah. A lot less. That was a six, I think you said. Yeah, that's that's probably a two. A two? Yeah. And that's yeah. seriously less, right? Yeah. The more I push it, it becomes a little harder, but right there, it's, it's a two. And Good. it feels easier. It feels easier, right? Mm -hmm. Come on, look at the floor, please. That was a three, I think you said? That's, that's, that's <laughs> a zero. It's yeah. a zero. Look at the ceiling. I forget what that was, a two or something like that, you said. That's probably a zero. It feels a little sore, but no pain. Okay. Yeah. Now, the big one we're here for. Arm. Mm -hmm. No, uh, love your head. Just go straight up. Oh. Okay. Wow. Wow, what? <laughs> Nothing. That was a zero. That was a six or a seven a minute ago. Mm -hmm. What was that now? A two. A two? Maybe less. When's the last time you moved your arm that free? Since before the accident. Since before the accident, right? When I was climbing ladders. Yeah. Look what he's doing. He's even shocked. He can't even believe he can go that high, right? Yeah. What is this going to do for your life to have your arm belt mobility back like this? <laughs> Make it better. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You seen some, are you seeing some big differences here? Mm-hmm. Excuse me. It's a little stronger. Yeah. You tell me. 
It feels a little, the grip feels a little tight. Yeah, no, and it's, yeah. it's actually increasing. I mean, I'm holding it and it was a little weak. Now it's like, I mean, now it's really, it's really coming in. Mm -hmm. What do you think, sir? <laughs> I feel good, thank you. You feel good? Yeah. Good. So, uh, hey, oh, we did, oh, check one last thing. One last thing, we got the knees. Let's check the knees. Might as well blow your mind a little bit more. It's what? That's a lot easier. Okay, how's your knee? Your surgical knee. It, it, it's cracking a little bit. No, it was a five or something, or four or five minutes ago. Uh, what is that now? Probably a one, maybe a two. Yeah. And how can I affect your knee with a neck adjustment? Does that seem kind of nuts? Yeah. yeah. How's your back when you do that too? That was a two before. I didn't feel it. Yeah. yeah. So your knee, your surgical knee that you said has arthritis in it, mm -hmm. it feels better. Did I touch your knee? No. Okay. Yes. Adam, beginning of a good treatment um, round here. He's doing great first day. Terrible work comp results, but one five minute adjustment and he's doing better. He's got a lot more work to go. Again, the scar tissue will be a, a big deal for him. It will heart, uh, hamper any really significant improvement, but automatically doing better. Can lift his arm, he hasn't done that in five years. Yeah, yeah that's easier. Good. Thank you. See you guys next time.